Welcome back to the GSMC Hockey Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. We're going with our fifth and final segment of the night talking top storylines from Florida's first cup. Uh, all right, which one do I want to go with first? Because let me tell you, there's so many of them that, you know, these players, it meant so much for them. And there's so many guys that got their first cup and it does so much for their career. I'll go with it. I'll, I'll go with him first. Sergei Bobrovsky wins his first Stanley Cup. I talked about him in my first segment of the night. Uh, how much I loved watching Sergei Bobrovsky growing up. This guy, one of the best careers I've seen uh, with my own two eyes. Almost won the Hart Trophy in 2017. He's a two-time Vesna winner. Uh, has been nominated for the Vesna. Uh, this is his fifth or sixth year this year being nominated for the Vesna now um yeah it's 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 something special seeing this guy play hockey uh it it means a lot to me that he won a Stanley Cup hoisting it um this guy now I think is a bona fide Hall of Famer and that it's not crazy to say that we just got done talking about the Hall of Fame inductees for the 2024 year and I would say that Bobrovsky had has had a better career than Shea Weber and JR probably uh he's only played in 700 games in his career but he is a goaltender so uh you don't play in all 82 games even when healthy as a goaltender so it makes sense 700 games played in his career uh averaging a 915 save percentage of 259 goals against average uh on Columbus 921 save percentage a 241 goals against average he had 33 shutouts in his time in Columbus uh I mean, he's special. He's a he's a special player, and to see him get a Stanley Cup means a lot. And I'm so happy for him. Bobrovsky, absolutely deserving of it. When he got that $10 million contract by Florida, I was probably the first one to say that this is an overpay. But it has proven to not be. And Sergei Bobrovsky, deserving, deserving of his cup. Uh, he is 35 years old now. Uh, he might be coming to the end of his career, but... Getting the Stanley Cup now with Florida is something special to see. Moving on to another guy that it was really special to see him win the Stanley Cup. It was Paul Maurice. When he got the cup to hoist it, he was in an interview with ABC. Um, He paused in his interview. He turned around. He said something to... Who was it that handed him the cup? Um... I think it was a defenseman that handed him the cup, but I don't know which one. Um, but when he got the cup, he said something to the uh, guy's ear that gave him the cup, and he just hoisted it over his head, closed his eyes, and breathed in. And that was such a special moment for a guy that I'm, he's been trying to do this for a long time. He tasted it in 2002 when the Carolina Hurricanes lost in the Stanley Cup Final. And ever since that moment, he's been chasing it. 22 years later, he is still an NHL head coach. And you could say failure after failure, but let me tell you, this one meant a lot for him. Spent a long time in Winnipeg did Paul Maurice just not being able to get it done. His first Stanley Cup in his career, and it's a special one for the uh, coach of the Florida Panthers. Paul Maurice, absolutely deserving of it. One of the best uh, head coaches of the generation. Uh, one of the best minds. And let me tell you, just listening to a bunch of his uh, post, post-game pressers, it, it, he's a guy that you can. He's a guy you could root for. He's a guy that you could be happy for to win a Stanley Cup. So it does mean a lot for Paul Maurice to win this thing. Um, another guy that it meant so much for him to win this thing is Kyle Pozo. Uh, this guy was the captain of the Buffalo Sabers at their worst. The Buffalo Sabers were hor- horrible when you know in the mid 2010s, and that's when Kyle Pozo was on that team and trying to get that team back to relevancy. Unable to do that was Kyle Pozo. However, uh, you know, gets off of the Buffalo Sabres, goes to the Florida Panthers, is a Stanley Cup champion after telling his kid before this Game 7, I used to play roller sticks, uh, or I used to play mini sticks in the driveway on rollerblades, and now I'm playing in a Game 7. I always envisioned of this moment when I was playing when I was a kid. Uh, and, you know, that's just something special, you know. 
I think the team really took that to heart. I saw, I heard, I think three guys mentioned that after they won the Stanley Cup, that those words that Kyle Pozo said to the team really hit hard with them and helped them win the Stanley Cup here in this Game 7. Because, I mean, I was that kid and I never played hockey. I mean, I was that kid that was in the driveway shooting into a laundry basket, imagining that it was a Game 7 of a Stanley Cup final. So it, it is something special. And for a guy that has played in over a 1,000 games in his NHL career, um, not playing in the playoffs ever because he was on the Buffalo Sabres. And finally being able to make a playoff run when he gets onto the Florida Panthers this year. Um, and winning a Stanley Cup for a guy that was a captain of such a horrific team is is, is very is great to see for Kyle Pozo. Uh, it's something special for him. And it really is for a bunch of these uh, Buffalo Sabres guys. Sam Reinhardt. Buffalo Sabres guy. Evan Rodriguez, a Buffalo Sabres guy. Kyle Pozo, as we mentioned, a Buffalo Sabres guy. Uh, I know that there's more, but they're escaping me in my head. Um, very special. Two guys that this is also very special for. The the two guys that have st- stuck through thick and thin with the Florida Panthers. It's Alexander Barkov and Eric Neckblad. Number one overall pick in 2014. Number two overall pick in 2013. These two players have been the backbone of the uh, Florida Panthers, and it is a little bit bittersweet for bittersweet, bittersweet for me for Jonathan Huberdeau to not also be there. 2011 first round pick for the uh, um, for the Florida Panthers, uh, but for this Panthers team, the two constants have been Alexander Barkov and uh, Aaron Ekblad, and those two have really led to the identity that the Florida Panthers play with today. They lead to that defensive-minded style that has led the Florida Panthers to winning a Stanley Cup. Uh, the probably best defensive forward that the NHL has winning his second Selkie this year. Um, and one of the best defensive defensemen of the NHL in Aaron Ekblad. It really is special to see those two lift, lift the cup. Uh, so very happy for just all of the guys on the Florida Panthers. It's an easy team to root for because all of these players deserve this. Um... They went through. They went through it last year. They they went through some hardship last year when they lost to the Vegas Golden Knights. Watched them hoist the Stanley Cup in five games, nonetheless. Kind of not even having a prayer in that one. Now they turn around, go up 3-0, and able to warn off just what would have been the greatest comeback in all of sports is is so special for the Florida Panthers. So, Florida Panthers, the 2024 NHL champions, winning the Stanley Cup, the hardest trophy to win in all of sports. We just talked about uh, in the previous segment. Two guys that just were named into the Hall of Fame comfortably, probably, uh, you know, deservant of their Hall of Fame invites uh, in JR and Shea Weber never winning a Stanley Cup. It's hard to win this trophy. It really, really is, especially, you know, especially in the years of, you know, these dynasties that we're seeing. Um, maybe not so much lately, but um, when you're in the years of the Blackhawks in the early 2010s or the Kings in the early 2010s and then going to the Penguins mid-2010s, then going into the Tampa Bay Lightning of the late 2010s or of the early 2020s, I guess. Um, it was. It's hard to win the Stanley Cup. It's hard if you're not on any one of these teams. Carter Verhage is now a three-time Cup champion, twice with the Lightning and once with the Panthers. This is also the third time in five years that the cup is going to florida uh so congratulations to i guess the state of florida for another uh for another stanley cup champion as uh you know there was talks of it being the worst state for hockey um i think we could put those uh those words to bed now and congratulations to the Florida Panthers for winning the Stanley Cup. But that'll wrap it up for the GSMC Hockey Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Thank you all for tuning in. Your support means so much to us. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube. And if you did enjoy the show, also follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to get more sports updates from the GSMC Sports Network. I thank all of you guys one final time for your support here. It does mean a lot to me. And have a fantastic and wonderful evening. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't.